All right, so let's call to order the OpenJS Foundation Public Board Session for February 17th, 2023. I'm Todd Moore. All right, welcome everyone. Thanks, Todd, for joining everyone. Let's see, today we are going to get started. We're gonna uh, cover a few things, uh, welcome and introduce some uh, new folks on the board, do a quick CPC update, a standards working group update, uh, marketing, and then events. So let's jump right in. Um, we have a new member um, who will be joining our board. Todd, would you like to make an yeah, introduction? Yeah, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, <laughs> uh, Michael Maximilian or Max, uh, Dr. Max, as many people know him, uh, who was deeply involved in Cloud Foundry and, and other projects. Uh, Max is taking on the responsibility for the OpenJS Foundation as I am retiring from IBM. So uh, Max, uh, uh, good luck and <laughs> thank you for, for picking this up and thanks to everybody who's made this uh, a lot of fun to, to be part of the project and projects, many of them, and the board for so many years here. And uh, uh, my best wishes to the continued success and and thanks to all the board members as well too for your your support and uh, time yeah thank you Todd and uh, big sh big shoes to fill uh, especially on Fridays it looks like so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you but you know we know where you're gonna be so very good thank you yeah welcome Max um yeah we're sad to be losing Todd uh Todd has not only spent a lot of his time sort of coaching and counseling me, but many others, uh, executive directors um, through the Node Foundation, CNCF, and more. So thank you for all that support. And thank you for uh, uh, lending us your wonderful team at IBM who continue to do a lot of great work um, to support us. Oh, thank you, Robin. You've been great to work with. Thanks. OK, C CPC update. Uh, Sarah Mateo. Sorry, I, I was muted. Hi, everyone. Uh, Mateo speaking. And uh, yeah, it's been, I think there's quite a few, a uh, uh, little bit of progress uh, of stuff. Um, first one is, uh, I think we are almost ready to land the, uh, the project. So back in uh, the end of last year, we ended up uh, discussing on of the process to attribute funds for project-driven initiatives, and uh, where essentially our collaboration model will was not uh, will not reach. So essentially, how can we get? How can the uh, projects can ask for funds? And uh, we have uh, more or less uh, um, described what we want to what that project will look like. So that's the link to the PR. Um, uh, along those lines, um, there was a question from uh, uh, the web Webpack team to provide funds to uh, support the GitHub code spaces, code spaces usage. And for all of you that don't know code spaces, but also other tools like Gitpod or there are plenty of other services like that, they allow uh, developers that to just spin up a virtual environment that they can access to that they can use to contribute and use it from the cloud. And that's actually pretty a good, uh, that would be a good use. And there are some discussion over there. Uh, there are also some uh, progress being done on the uh, code of conduct automatic updates, uh, because uh, as you probably know, the, uh, the we follow the uh, contribute and covenant code of conduct, but with some light like, tweaks on top, and then we need to do, um, we want to automate those, so. I, I don't know if I forgot anything, uh, Sarah. So if you want to step in, please do. Otherwise, we're good. That was great, we say. Thank you. No, we're good. Great. Lots of uh, productivity in the CPC. Lots of attendance. Um, if you're curious to see what it's about, um, go check out our YouTube channel. You can. You're welcome to join. We have a lot of project leaders, but anyone's welcome. Yeah. Okay. Standards Working Group. 
Um, as you know, Jory Burson still uh, chairs our standards working group. She was promoted to be vice president of standards at the Linux Foundation. Um, and always lots of great work happening with this lovely group of people. Uh, one of the things that um, has started to ramp up um, in the past few weeks is a web developer security workshop. We're still working on a cool brand name for that. Do so you have any ideas? Um, it'll be hosted uh, with the W3C, um, but OpenJS and OpenSSF will be co-branded. Uh, and planning is underway for a June event in London. It'll be held at the Ma uh, Microsoft Reactor space. So uh, thanks to that. So of course, free um, and open to anyone who would like to attend. Uh, we're, we've got a document going to talk about um, sponsorships. We have a group identified for the program committee uh, for CFP. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then we've had an active month with our liaison organizations, uh, W3C advisory board um, elections. We um, are a member of the W3C. So uh, we cast our vote that the standards working group um, agrees upon. That's um, somewhat stack ranked. So congratulations to the new folks who are elected. Um, and then the one uh, kind of big update from our folks representing TC39 uh, from their last meeting is that they have a new process change uh, called active consensus uh, where an explicit report is now required. So if you're curious to learn more about that, um, Jordan Harbans on our uh, standards working group, as well as some others, um, and you can learn more. We also have a standards channel in Slack if you have questions. Um, and then if you haven't done so, the Linux Foundation uh, has a standards calendar, help a little bit with some air traffic control since we have a lot of overlap with uh, a lot of our communities. So uh, you can download that into your calendars and it represents the groups right there. Any questions, feedback? Great. All right, next up, marketing update, Kylie. Hello everyone. So I'm just gonna preface this with um, the metrics are a little wonky this month. Um, we don't have as many here on the screen. Um, so we have been having some problems with Twitter analytics. I think it's a, a Twitter wide thing, um, not just unique to us. So we weren't able to accurately capture all of our metrics this month. Um, we tried to do get a, a loophole around it, but things were just not panning out. So I don't have full metrics on Twitter this month. Um, but I'll just share with you some of the things that um, we posted. Um, in case you missed it, we um, posted this awesome video promoting um, OpenJS World. So that's that tweet on the top right there. Um, and we have some great voices from our community, pictures from our events to really promote um, OpenJS World. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, and then we also ran um, a sale um, last month as well with the LF um, for our training. So those were kind of our big tweets last month. You can go to yeah, special thanks. The, it was the native script uh, project maintainers who created that video. Um, we have a couple of those folks in our program committee and they had expertise in that space. So that was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. great. Okay, and then same story, of course, Twitter on our Node.js handles, I tried to pull a few more, um, but the awesome um, metric that I do have for Node.js is that our following just keeps growing, um, which is really good to see. Um, that graph down at the bottom shows um, the difference from uh, December to January, um, and so we gained 4.4 um, thousand followers um, that month. So growing really well, um, seeing a lot of love and um, comments and free tweets and, and all of that on our channel. So um, there are some of the top tweets that we posted last month. Of course, oh, the always popular security updates always get a lot of love. Okay, so LinkedIn, um, we're seeing some good growth um, this last month on the OpenJS LinkedIn. Um, Again, there's our video that we also posted um, on our other channels too. 
Um, but our followers went up for OpenJS slowly but surely um, growing, which is really great. Um, and our impressions were really high this month too. And we think that's because of the great video that we posted. So um, 10.8K um, um, impressions is really good for our OpenJS um, LinkedIn. Right. Node.js, um, our post impressions for Node.js were super high this month. Um, I'm not totally sure what it was contributed to, but um, we've been seeing some really good traction on um, the Node.js LinkedIn as well. Um, follower count was pretty steady this month. 2.8 is great um, for the Node.js LinkedIn. Um, getting lots of page views still um, and uh, yeah, posted a couple updates. This one on the right here is um, a call out for the security working group um, that Raphael's been doing great work on. Okay, and we're now on Mastodon. Really exciting. Um, we have four handles right now. Um, OpenJS, Node.js, Electron, and jQuery. Um, give us a follow. Um, we're slowly ramping those channels up. Um, so see you on Mastodon. And today is the last day of our um, February promotion for training and certification. So 60% off Node.js bundles, courses, and certifications with code um, Node23. Um, so that ends today, so make sure you get that deal um, before the day ends. Right. I think we're finding more people buy bundles, the training and the certification together than just separately. So yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are continuing to plan for OpenJS World, which is May 10th through 12th. Um, super excited for that. And our Collaborator Summit is going to be the day before. Planning is underway for that. CFPs did close for OpenJS World, um, so we're not accepting those anymore. But registration is now open for both the Collaborator Summit and OpenJS World. Um, so register now. I think they're still doing early bird pricing um, so you can get that deal. Um, our program committee meets bi-weekly to make sure um, that we have a good event. We're reviewing all the CFPs now um, so we can um, pick our speaker lineup. Cool. Yeah, I would just add one thing. We have, um, there is a travel fund for the Linux Foundation, which is generally used for underrepresented communities. Um, so take a look there. Um, getting a lot of questions about visa and travel for international folks. There's also great content. That team is super responsive if you have questions, but I'm, I'm always happy to sort of help funnel those as well. Um, and then if you're an active maintainer of one of the OpenJS projects, we have a community fund administered by the Cross Project Council. Um, and so if you need help, there's also a hobbyist rate. So if your company's not paying for you, um, and you are active um, in open source and you want to register under a hobbyist fee, there is also a process on that. And um, I've seen folks send mails that way and get approved. Those tickets are limited. Feel free to copy me if you send those along and I can vouch for your, your activity in the foundation. Cool. And then just two other save the dates that will remind you of Open Source Summit Europe, September 19th through 21st in Spain. Um, we will be um, holding an event there. So mark your calendars, um, more details to come there. And then our member summit happening um, in October this year. Great. Great. Well, that concludes our public session. 2023, off to a good busy start. Lots of good security stuff. Amazing. So thanks to everyone. Again, thanks again, Todd, for your leadership for so long. We're going to miss you. Welcome, Max. I will miss you all too. And, and thank you again. So let's call the meeting closed. Great. And great. Thanks to the staff again for putting this all together for us. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Cheers. Bye.